Welcome to the 10th episode of the Tears Over Beers podcast. I'm your host, Zafer, and today we're going to be talking about monkeys! Woo! Monkeys! Monkeys! Today I have two monkey experts with me. Please introduce yourselves. Hello, I'm Samuel, and, uh, you know, I... Monkeys, man. God. Ooh. Uh, I'm Zoe. Um, well, I've uh, had experience in the field. I, I, I've tried to live as a monkey in the forest for 20 years. Um, I've picked up quite a few, few things in my time. <laughs> things tail growl. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. I have a document open. And if you're watching this on YouTube, then you're in luck, because you are going to get the images of the monkeys along with the podcast. If you're on Spotify, I'll send a link to the uh, file so you can uh, play along with us. We are going to be rating all these monkeys out of 10 uh, in terms of just, like, skill, um, attractiveness, color, stuff like that. And it's going to be really good. We're going to be rating them based on color? Are you two ready? Yeah, wait, wait. Are we solely rating these monkeys on color? No. Okay. All right, just overall quality. Quality of monkey? Overall quality. Monkeys, a retrospective. All right, now please move to slide two. Ooh, this is a great Ooh. monkey. Albert. I love Albert. Whoa. The first primate astronaut was Albert, a rhesus macaque, who on June 11th, 1948, rode to over 63 kilometers on a V2 rocket. Albert died of suffocation during the flight. Okay, um, hmm. so first I just want to say I love Albert. I kind of think of him as a soul brother because as I entered um, monkey civilization to live in, uh, Albert entered human civilization, and I think on both of our species parts that took a lot of courage um albert also entered base civilization yeah so. most humans haven't even done that yeah um <sighs> he did die of suffocation though. i'd let albert uh, suffocate me so like well, i don't think i'd do that if i yeah were honestly i feel like that might take away some points for me just because i think yeah. if if it was a better monkey, um, it would have probably lived longer. Mm -hmm. Or at least died in a cooler way. Are you saying they should have upgraded Albert? Yeah. I'm just saying suffocation's a little lame, for sure. All right, so what are we thinking for this monkey? I'm, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking a four. Honestly, mm -hmm. yeah, and comparing to other monkeys, I, I'd push him a bit higher. Um, I'd, 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 a I'd give him five. I'd give him a five and a half. Well, I don't know how uh, we go that far. Okay, well let's just let's go with an even five. I I think we can all agree on that. All right, an even five. Well, now please let's go to slide number three. Dude, this is the Whoa. upgraded Albert that we were talking about. Albert about. number holy, two. Holy crap! Oh my god! <laughs> and he died way fucking sicker too. Albert holy was crap. followed by Albert two, who survived the V two flight but died on impact. On June 14th, 1949, after a parachute failure. <laughs> so that, that's kind of more badass, honestly. Falling um, to earth and splatting on the ground? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, All right. Man, are we, so what are we thinking? A, a six? Um, yeah, definitely okay, like seven. Albert plus one. Um, if there were an Albert Mark seven. three, I'd consider a seven. But this one definitely warrants a six. Well, okay, but, like, what is a cooler way for a monkey to die than dying on impact after a par parachute failure? Electrocution. I don't know. Because electrocution suggests that you're, you know, you don't know what you're doing. I I, I get the feeling, just from the photo, that Albert II struck by was an lightning. experienced person. Like, okay, struck by lightning, yeah. All that, right. yeah. True. But, that I mean, that would be, like, an eight for me. I I'd, I'd go with the six. Um, if you want to bump that up a bit. All right. Yeah. You know what? I'll, okay. Fine. Six. I'll take it. Okay. Okay. Are you sure? Well, if if we're giving this guy a six, then I think Albert the first should be like a three. Dang. 
Do we want to go wow. back to Albert one and call Albert a one of three? Do, do a revision on Albert one. Albert one was clearly half the monkey that Albert two was. After <laughs> the, the recording, I'll tally up all the uh, all, all all your final answers, and we'll uh we'll, we'll compare and contrast. Right. Cool. Yeah. Slide number four. Dang. This is Naruto. Mm. An Indonesian monkey that triggered a landmark copyright case when it took a photograph of itself has been named Person of the Year by one of the world's largest animal rights groups. The People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, PETA, said it was honoring the crested black macaque, dubbed Naruto, to recognize that he is someone, not something. The monkey took the photo of itself in 2011 after British nature photographer David Slater set up a camera on the Indonesian island of Sulawesi. PETA is pretty badass. PETA's pretty badass. Um, he's a macaque. The monkey took a awesome. selfie. Yeah, he did take a selfie. Um, and was named Person of the Year, which is pretty cool. I don't know how many monkeys are Person of the Year. Um, that's, that's pretty impressive. And, and he's an anime reference. True. Nominated anime reference by PETA. Um, that's pretty cool. Yeah, he's a cool dude. Um, I think I, like I think my take on the number would be a bit controversial here, but yeah. hear me out. I think the bar is very very high when it comes to going to space. Like that's going to space true. is a lot more impressive than taking a selfie. I think. Um, so. Even though taking the selfie is pretty fucking cool, being per- person of the year, good for him. I would, I would have to go with a two. I'm sorry, but were a Albert two? one and two person of the year named person of the year by one of the world's largest animal rights groups? Yeah, so I would get two. Two, two, okay. Okay. two for me. All right, y'all going with a two? All right, we're going to go to slide number five. Dang! Oh, no God. way! No, Albert the Third <laughs> died at thirty-five thousand feet in an explosion of his V two on September sixteenth, nineteen forty-nine. Okay, we have officially found okay. the coolest eight. Albert. I'd say eight. an eight. Wow! Yeah. No, definitely Al- an eight. Okay. Wow. Um. Bold. Claim. This guy exploded. I mean. Mm-hmm. Like suffocation, low low tier. Um, yeah, falling yeah, from a height, splatting on the ground. Mm, yeah, I mean, it's cool, but I um, love to. Explosions are badass. Oh. Um, for for all the viewers at home who um are looking at these monkeys along with us, um, he has a pretty cool like peanut sack that he's sitting in, and, and there's kind of a pose going on, too, um, with his arm. You are absolutely right. <laughs> it's kind of fucking cool. I don't know. I mean, is definitely an upgrade. Yeah, the spacesuit definitely adds at least a point, and then that explosion, yeah, seals the deal. Solid eight. Eight. Eight, eight. I believe, mm-hmm. I believe this, this next slide is going to be a video, uh, so... Oh. We will just watch wow. the video and okay. we will comment on it. I- oh, dude, I love Jumbo and Mongo. His big old neck sack. Yeah, that those are cool some fucking guy. These two monkeys have a condition oh, oh, dude. that Wait, has oh. them lose hair. One of the monkeys like kind of put his arm around the other one. Got a little ass touch. This is kind of terrifying. Dude, that dude keeps. One of them keeps getting groped. Jamba keeps getting groped, like right around his head. How do you know which one's Jamba? There's a monkey. Wait, why is that monkey grabbing his dick? Yeah, he's grabbing his ball. <laughs> Honestly, I'd give him a nine just for the cock and balls. Yeah, yeah. You are basing it on sex appeal. Yeah, no. I yeah, mean, that, that was a factor. A lot of sex. Appeal. So, what did you, what did y'all think? That was a really good video. Yeah, to be fair, like neither of the Alberts like 
were hairless like this or ripped. Yeah, these guys are beefy, big balls, and and clearly they don't even mind when their homies like grab them. Like they let all their homies have a touch, and <laughs> I mean, and they, they keep truly... their pride during all of it. Oh. It's honestly, I'm in love. It's pretty badass. So, Dude, are we rating point. them different? Are we rating them separately? Uh, no. They're basically mm-hmm. the same. They're both hairless. Yeah, which one was getting groped? Jumbo. I mean, the one with the big neck sack. Jumbo was getting How could groped. you tell? How, do you, because, how could you tell? Because Jumbo's the main character. Mongo is just his son. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. Well, personally, I would rate them differently. Um, yeah, I like the one I, with the I, neck I would, sack more. I'm thinking a clean eight for Jumbo. I'd even go as far for a nine with Jumbo. Maybe a maybe yeah, an, an, an eight or seven for Mongo. I'm hesitant to go that far just because we haven't seen the rest of them. Well, look, um, I, yeah. I, I've given a nine and a seven. I'd I'd even those like a cumulative monkey eight. I mean, to be fair, Mongo did not get a lot of screen time. It was mostly Jumbo mm-hmm. who um, mm-hmm. took took the took the camera. probably for a reason. Um, yeah. yeah, exactly. All right, you you say nine and seven. I would say eight and six personally. Uh, we're going to slide number seven. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We got boots. Hmm. All right, boots hmm. is a five and a half year old furry monkey and Dora's best friend, who is the co-host of the series, not this series, the show. He likes to hold Dora's hand. Unlike Dora, boots sometimes makes wrong choices and gets discouraged. When he is feeling down, he always bounces back quickly with one of his flips. No one can make Dora laugh the way Boots can, so he's kind of a simp. Um, yeah, he he is. Well, okay. Not only is he kind of a, a simp, he makes um, wrong choices. He's okay. He's both a chimp. He's a <laughs> simp. <laughs> um, hmm. You know. Um. Like, how how old is Dora? Like six. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yikes. Boots. I don't know how comfortable I am labeling labeling a six year old as mediocre pussy. Where did it Where did it say mediocre pussy? It's what simp stands for? No, simp simp could mean anything. Maybe it's simpanzi idolizing yeah. Mexican person. Okay, uh, I mean it's just you know simp. It suggests that you're putting down the person who who they're they are idolizing. No, I'm not trying to put down. I'm not trying to to put down a, a a Mexican person. That's not what I'm doing here. Well, I mean, but but I, I'm trying to put down boots. Honestly, I don't really stand for boots. We we don't like boots. I, I'm not a big fan. Um, I'm just I'm gonna decline to rate boots. I don't really. Um, I don't feel wow. comfortable giving boots a rating. Is to it be because honest. is it because uh, boots sometimes makes wrong choices and gets discouraged? No, it's because Boots is a five and a half year old, and I don't want to rate a five and a half year old on their sexual appeal. Well, actually, Boots is older now. Here, let's go to the next slide. Okay. Hey! Oh, whoa! This is a fucking boss monkey. He's strutting his shit like he's the king of the world. That's a quote from Super Mafia. Um, And these are some uh, takes from the trivia from the Door of the Explorer movie. Boots is the only character not to appear in the hallucination sequence. Boots only talks for a little bit in this movie to Dora, but during the movie, he's usually just making monkey sounds. He doesn't have a child voice. He's got an adult voice. Yeah, mm. um, so, so that means he, he's adult, right? Uh, I mean, look at him. Yeah. <laughs> if that an adult, I don't know what it is. I'm thinking seven. Seven? Seven for, for uh, adult Boots? Yeah, yeah, because, I mean, he has all the same qualities that I, I enjoyed about the first Boots, except he's, he's legal. Um, Don't forget, the only character not to appear in the hallucination sequence. I think, I think it's cool not to do drugs, personally. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Dang, yeah. abstains and, from doing drugs. Cool. Uh, I, I think that, you know, the young Boots made wrong choices and got discouraged. I don't think this Boots... I think this Boots has, has grown past that. Yeah. Oh, definitely. I'd say seven. 
It's solid seven. This is a fucking boss monkey. He's strutting his shit like he's the king of the world. Yeah, it's a seven. Mm -hmm. Um. All right. Are we ready for the next slide? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Slide number nine. Let's go. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh my shit. god. Albert Four on the last Ooh. Monkey V2 flight died on impact on December 8th that year after another parachute failure. Wait, died so he's literally way. just trying to be Albert 2 but with duct tape yeah, instead? Honestly, Ooh, that's yeah. Literally just kind of counterfeit rip-off rip Albert 2. It is kind of kind of ugly, kind of kind of uh, horrendous. Uh, yeah. Uh, we I, gotta have one that's the worst. <laughs> I'm thinking. And, and does he for... really think that's a space suit? I mean, in compared to like the, the cool peanut suit that Albert Three yeah, had, he, like really, he could have worn a peanut. Uh, he could have worn a peanut. They had the technology. Yeah. Um. um sorry. Kind low of, tier monkey. Yeah. Three. Low tier three, monkey. Three or two. I wouldn't hang out with this guy. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like I feel like he's not better than the selfie monkey. Is the thing. And did we so, give selfie monkey a two? We gave Selfie Monkey a two. So I'll say I'll say oh. two. I'll say two. I'd honestly go as I'm, far to say one. They honestly should have left it at, th at three monkeys. Yeah. Too yeah. many Alberts, if you ask me. All right. We're getting close to the finals. Uh, okay. Okay, all right. We're going to go next slide. Ah, of course. Harambe. Harambe was born at the Gladys Porter Zoo in Brownsville, Texas on May 27th, 1999. He was named by Dan Van Copenhagen, a local area counselor who won a naming contest sponsored by the zoo. He came up with the name after listening to the song Harambe, Working Together for Freedom, by Rita Marley, widow of Bob Marley. Harambe is a Swahili term for communal labor. On September 18, 2014, Harambe was transferred to the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden to learn adult gorilla behavior and join a new social group. And that's all that happened. Okay, so he's just a social gorilla? Well, uh, to learn adult gorilla behavior, I mean, he went so, to a so school. So he didn't know well, adult gorilla behavior before going to school. Well, sure, but, I mean, he, he rectified that by attending the, 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 um, the zoo. Yeah, it's true. At least he yeah. tried. He did try. Um, yeah. It's, okay, like, I'm going to say... And this doesn't this doesn't mean that I don't like Harambe, right? But in case you don't like Harambe, I don't think that there's very much that. Yeah, I I don't think there's much that makes Harambe special. He didn't take a selfie. He he didn't go to space. What's also what's up with this photo? Um, what do you what do you mean? So I mean, like he's looking kind of thick, but it also looks like he's got something in his right hand. He no, he doesn't. Um. Um, yeah, wait, what is that? No! He, okay, wait, okay, so we're giving this one, like, what, a four? Okay, let's go to the... Uh, um, no, I don't, I don't go, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say four. Uh, I wouldn't say four. I would I say one. Wow! One. What? Dude! There's no, he didn't even take a selfie! He didn't even take a selfie! Look at the ass! A selfie, he's a gorilla, ass. look at that ass! Look at the ass! He's not hairless. Dude! You're right. Okay. Um, honestly, I, I, I like the four. I think a four is a solid assessment. Lowest I'd go would be three. Okay, highest I'll go is a two. Harambe, did, Harambe didn't go to space. Harambe didn't take a selfie. I mean, Harambe went to school, uh, so I guess that's, that's more three, than taking then? a selfie. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go three. Three. Can you? I'm, I'm, I'm staying on three. two. All right. Okay, then. All, All right. right. This is gonna be the last slide, I believe. Are we all ready for this? Yeah. Okay. Deep breaths, everybody. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, three, two, one. Tika. Tika is not a monkey. Tika oh. is a dog. A disgusting and stupid waste of time and energy. Dogs are objectively worse than monkeys. Okay, I have one point, though. Yeah? Um, mm -hmm. So, in my 20 years out there in the jungles, um, I met lots of apes. Um, but never in my time a dog, uh, especially a dog like this. Um, and I just think, not fit to be monkey. Um, if not, I probably would have seen a Tika or two out there in the wild. Yeah, they're not fit for the jungle. They're not fit for space. Uh, they can't yeah. take selfies. They can't go to school. It's like, it's, it's a zero for me, honestly. It, I, it's a dog. 
Well, I didn't know that zero was an option. Because I didn't know dogs were an option either. No. All right. I'll say zero. I can, I can go with zero. I mean, when it comes to a monkey list, I would say that zero, Tika has to be a zero because there's, you know, right away she's disqualified. Well, okay. I mean, I, so I'm, I'm not a monkey, but I, I've lived as a monkey for a while, and I'd be kind of disrespected if you guys couldn't rate me as a monkey. Um, we never did. But you guys haven't given Tika a chance. Like, Well, Tika's not a monkey. Tika's never lived as a monkey. But Tika might. I will say zero for now, but if at some point we see Tika trying to adapt to the monkey lifestyle, then my rating might change. Yeah, I think I think that's valid. Um, I think we could like revise this list at that point. But um, yeah, for now, yeah, I'd go with a zero too. Right. So Tika is a zero. Let's tally up all the scores. Let's go from the start. Uh, just say what our, our final answers are for all of them. Um, okay. So Albert, we're given a three. Yep, Albert's a three. All right. Albert two um, six. Yep. Six. Naruto six. is a uh, two. Two. Naruto two. Ha. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Two. Um, Albert three is a uh, eight. Eight. Honestly, yeah. I'd even, I might revise mine to a nine. Um, at this. Yeah, point. I, I agree. I agree. All right. Now that we've seen the rest of them, I yeah, I would say Albert two, three has been the best out of all of them. Mm-hmm. Albert Honestly, I mean, nine. given that, should we give him a ten? Well, I think Albert that I think ten should be reserved to. For for God and God alone. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, well, how about Jumbo Mongo? Jumbo and Mongo. Um, I think we said uh, seven, right? I'm I'm set. I, I'm settling on a, a seven or eight. Seven or eight. All right. Uh, seven for me. Yeah. Okay. We'll we'll we'll, we'll say seven. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then boots. Don't even uh, mention. Ch- don't even mention boot? that. No. Nope. Child right. boots. Eliminated. Yeah, child, child boots. I'm not. I re, I still refuse to give a rating. Okay. Uh, adult boots. Boss. Uh, seven. 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 Okay. Seven. Um. Yeah. Albert four. We gave a, a one. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. Rip off. All right, and then Harambe. What did we give Harambe? Uh, we settled. I on gave three. Harambe a, a one. And or, yeah, no, I settled on a two, but I'm now that I know that zero is an option, I'm gonna I'm gonna say one, maybe two. All right, one and a half. Antique is zero. These are really See, good a, monkeys. Yeah, yeah this sure. was a great list. Thanks. That, this thank has been you. A, yeah. No. Absolutely. Um. Like. Okay. So after all my time out there in the jungle, um. Getting a list like this is pretty refreshing because I felt like mm-hmm. it kind of, I don't know, at least had some kind of representation from like a lot, lots of the different types of monkeys I, I, I'd hang out cool. with. Base monkeys. One sec. Monkeys. Can we, can we rate Zoe? Can we rate Zoe since Zoe's been living as a monkey? Mm-hmm. I guess that that's more than Tika. Uh, have you gone to school? No. Have you taken a selfie? Um, yeah, one or two. Oh, okay. All right, so that already puts you at, like, a two. Um, but space? I've never been to space or died, so. Have you been groped? Uh, next question. Yeah, uh, here, we don't, we don't need to talk about what happens uh, behind the scenes, do we, Samuel? <laughs> Mm-mm. Uh... <laughs> What happens once the camera's off? Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna. Okay, I think two, just because the only the only thing we have you to com- to compare is uh the selfie monkey. That's the end of today's episode. Uh, thank you so much for listening. Uh, make sure to tune in next time for another uh, fun-filled endeavor, and. Because we are so clever, we are going to be finishing uh, this episode out with uh, a poem. Ah! 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 Ah!